Hey guys, welcome to a brand new episode of Mario Kart Tour. Today we're taking a look at Shy Guy Bazaar. It's been a while since we did Shy Guy Bazaar, but it's a great track for getting a high score on. We're going to be talking about how to maintain combo throughout, doing a non-stop, and how to take advantage of uh, a lot of different routes on this one. So how to take the best route to get the most on your combo. Right, Shy Guy Bazaar comes with a good setup in terms of driver options. You know, if we have common... Shy Guy will be an option for you, double problems isn't a bad special skill, but then we have Super Option in King Boo, which there's been so many tours where King Boo has been good, hopefully most of them will have him at a high level. Lucky 7's a great ability to have as a frenzy and a single item. Um, then when we have Bowser's Santa though as a high end is probably the best option if you were fortunate enough to pull him, <laughs> I wasn't. God damn you, Bowser. Um, apart from that, you've got, you've got an array of fairly good skills. You do have another super option in Peach with Heart, but it's not a great special skill, so probably not going to want to stay clear of that. Peach Wedding comes with Troubled Mushrooms, also a good ability. Dash Rings with Rosalina. Uh, Fire Flower contained map, so you you will get hits with that. And Luigi Lederhosen and also Triple Mushrooms. I'm going in with King Boo. We have another super option in Gold Blooper on the cart. Uh, comes with Mini Turbo Plus. You really want to go for probably Jump Boost Plus or Mini Turbo Plus. I'd favour the Jump Boost though. Um, dash panels are good as well. There are dash panels in this level, so you could cho choose that. Now, how many? Do, does it say how many tickets I got? Because you might take that to level six. I will not be going for that though because I have Bad Wagon. Bad Wagon is such such an old car that it will be one that we will be most likely to have at a high level. It is available in the tier shop currently, 10,000 coins. It could be at level six if I really want to, really have to push towards the end of this tour. But I'll save my tickets for now and save my coins whilst, I, uh, whilst I'm waiting to see where the scores land. Mini Turbo Plus, great ability to have. As I say, Jump Boost is probably the better, so you'll get that with Fast Frank. Don't know if you'll have that as high. Festival Girl also comes with that. Pink Wing, no go. Rose Queen, good with Mini Turbo. You've got the Black Kabuki Dasher, comes with Mini Turbo Plus as well. And then finally, Dash Panel with Trickster. Then, when it comes to Glider, I've opted to go for my level 4 Gold Swooper. Might have it higher. Um, we do have, again, some more super options. Level 6 Flower Glider with Banana Plus or Lightning Oil Paper. I'd favour the uh, the flower glider just because banana plus you can probably this chance to get banana frenzy up front and that'll put up some good scores. Another coin glider available in gold New Year's kite. Daisy glider is a no go with super horn really. Blooper plus is a good thing to have with lucky seven that'll work really nicely. And we have green shell plus with dry bars a umbrella. Whatever's highest bar. Uh, I would favour a level 4 high end with coin glider over a level 6 uh, flower glider. Going for those coin frenzies. Right, let's take a look at this 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 run. It took me a while to get this. It is a difficult track to maintain because there's a lot of difficult sections in it. Uh, I didn't want to do that. We need to go to 10, 12. Dun, dun, dun. This first, this first. Right, from the start, I like to start to turn to the right, build up a charge, and swing to the left of the course to keep to this left side, and then release, then turn to the left, with the right side, release, turn to the right, throw yourself into the side after this mini turbo, duck out quickly, and then get another one in. Then turn to the left and set yourself up for this coin. Turn to the left, get this one. Right, left to get this one. And then again a right, left. And that'll set you up nicely for getting these. One, two, three, four, five. So six, seven, eight, nine. Nine actions if you go the left way. Uh, or you can go up top, which is less actions though. Uh, super mini turbo then after I've charged that up which will give me a nice little bit of extra room just to get a mini turbo. We can wait for the item to kick in and then you can set up for hitting these jars. We get a nice banana hit there. You're going to need to release just after the sand to be able to get to here 
if you've not got anything connecting. Um, go to the left side because there's four actions. There's only two coins that you'll get on the right side. You'll need some mini turbo to get yourself to the dash panel. Then you can start turning to the left or the right and hold. And you will be able to get in a mini turbo whilst you're waiting. Um, I hope not to do it. I think I just wanted a straight line to make sure I get to these first. Coming down. Now you have a few options coming around here. You can go down, aim down here, and you'll catch a little bit of a jump boost. And I'll give you some glide time. Extra time for gliding. Luckily, I get the coin after getting hit. Turn to the right. This is a mini turbo. And getting to this here is difficult. I'm not sure I would have made it had I not released that jump boost, but the problem is it throws you off course of getting those coins. So that is a tricky bit, probably the hardest bit, and the bit I'd save your item box for. Same again, left, now, and then turn to the right. Catch this some slip streams. Right, mini turbo, throw yourself into there. Left, right, mini turbo, gets in another slip stream. It throws me off though, the slip stream. I could have been behind this person with a coin. Ah, look at that, somebody's got a coin box. Just slip inside right there. Uh, it totally throws me off. I messed up that bit completely. But just copy the first lap. That's how you do that. Then we have a green shell that is going nowhere. The banana hits. Mini turbo to the left. Release. And then your item will kick in. The coin. And we've got mushroom and a lucky seven, which is perfect going through here. We can use the mushroom just to stop the jar from slowing us down. And then we've got the lucky seven to connect. It's nicely to get in these three coins. Charge into the left. Getting in a mini turbo before. No. Oh, we released it there. Did we get it? Oh, no, I just released it. Didn't charge it up enough. Then we're sitting in second, so we need to make sure that we're, we're winning this. And we get two beautiful red shells which we can throw for a mid, mid air strike. Sucks to you. So the other option is that you aim down and then glide up and then land and then start turning to the right. Release the mini turbo, turn to the right, and that'll give you a perfect amount. That's the setup that you want. That way you're going to get all three of these coins and all three jump boosts going down those steps. And then we finish. And that got me a score of 27,594. And that was a frenzyless run. I'm glad I got to show you a frenzy list run because having level 6 King Boo does not make it easy to do a frenzy list run. The the actual big score that I got, so we can see the 30,000 score, is a pretty terrible run. Down here, hit that, land, and we lose combo there. Oh, this is not the run. It's the run. That is what makes it so hard. That section is really hard to maintain combo, I think. Oh, so we've got Coin Frenzy. We go up here. As you see, there's like six actions going that way. Oh, we drop combo after the Coin Frenzy. But I continue because you could get a triple Coin Frenzy. The Lucky 7 brings in a really quick combo. And adds to that multiplier. We land nicely with a Mushroom. So we're maintaining combo through here. It's looking good. Double turn. Oh, is this when I was, I would just go for the right side. Don't go to the right side. There's not enough actions. Landing it. We drop combo again. But we've had a lucky seven. Banana frenzy. Finishing with the banana frenzy. And we oh just got that banana hit. <laughs> So it wasn't a very good run at all because it had so many actions in it overall. She pulled a huge score, thirty thousand. But it just goes to show that this is a this is a thirty-three thousand plus track, I reckon, if you get a, a really good run on it. So that is it, Shy Guy Bazaar, Peach Cup Week One of the Cat Tour. We'll be going into uh, the Toad Cup. Um, preparation, I'll be doing that now for next week. Got some, some difficult tracks. Probably difficult track being Royal Raceway Reverse, but it's, it's a fairly, it's, 
It's a track that is set up for a non-stop combo. It's just there's not a lot in it. It makes it a bit tricky. Cooper Troop Beach reverse trick and Donut Plains. They should be easy because they're both trick levels. But we'll find out. They'll be released next week at the commencement of the second week of the Cat Tour. Apart from that, that's all for this one. Hopefully you found this guide helpful. If you have, please leave a like on the video. It always helps the channel out. Hit subscribe if you want to keep up to date with future content. That is all from me. See you guys soon.